<laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Simon's Spooky. I don't think it's supposed to be. No, 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 it's not a Michael Jackson mask. It's like. It's like a. <laughs> In, is it worse? Is it worse or better than the Mo? Is it the Mo Mo? You... Mo Mo? This is Michael Jackson, right? I can't breathe. Is in this it not thing. supposed to be? How did witches breathe in their costumes? Like, look, look how tightly I'm bound up. Oh my god, it's so much worse than oh my, my hand. God. So you got to stay in your costume now, and I, I am free. Well, I mean, I guess I could sort of have this on as like a wig, a creepy, disgusting. Creepy wig. I mean, <laughs> so it's horrible. Look at the level of decoration the guys have gone through. They've not even got these teeth out of this plastic thing. No, that's for you to wear. Oh, is it? You're a vampire witch. Billy Bob Teeth Vampire, aka False Fangs for Halloween Vampire Dracula Teeth Accessory. Yeah, they good really SEO hit. for that. There's some thermal fitting beads. Oh, I think they them they you melt them in hot water and then it glues these these fangs into your mouth. Oh, so it's probably not gonna just glue. I mean, you can give them a go. Yeah. Like have my spooky fang. Ooh, my spooky Ooh. vampire teeth. How do I look? They're shiny? quite realistic. Do I do I look sexy? Do I look like Robert Pattinson in <laughs> Twilight? Yeah. Do I look like uh, Kirsten Stewart? Oh God, shall we kiss? Kish. Maybe we'll save that for after the recording. That'll be the special members. Yeah. Episode. Oh, what are we gonna? What are we gonna start with? I feel like we should start with something quite, quite light. What the fuck are these URLs? So, so this is a, a scary story. Scaryforkids.com forward slash wet pants. Wet pants. So you may, you may kind <laughs> is that of a spoiler? get an idea for where the story goes. But you know, I kind of like that. I like that. Right. A few years ago, I was a camp counsellor. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. We every, started already. <laughs> every Halloween, we would take a group of kids... <laughs> get hair in my mouth. I've got shit in my Fuck. gin as well. Why did they put these cobwebs here? <laughs> what a disaster. Uh, every Halloween, we'd take a group of kids on a trip to Lake Arrowhead. After we pitched our tents, we always built a campfire at the edge of the lake and sat around at night telling ghost stories. Fine. The kids were all boys and girls aged between 12 and 14. As the story started, I could never imagine the nightmare it would bring for one young boy in particular. <sighs> okay. One of the kids started telling a scary story about a deranged killer with a huge machete who went around stalking campers like the kids there. Right. As he told his gruesome story, everyone cuddled closer together. One by one, all the characters in his story <laughs> fell victim to the machete-wielding maniac. <laughs> As the tension mounted and the story came to a really scary part, the boy who was telling the story suddenly let out a ye loud yell. <laughs> Sure. It shattered the silence and suddenly everyone was screaming. Ah! All the kids going wild. Then the kids realised they'd been fooled and everyone started laughing. Okay. Oh, ho, ho. However, one young boy suddenly jumped out of his seat and started running away into the darkness. Uh oh. Since I was camp counsellor, I had to chase after him. I yelled out as he raced towards the lake. I thought he was going to stop at the water's edge, but he didn't. He plunged into the lake as I watched. All I could do was yell, Stop! This is a good plan. In the darkness, I hurried towards the spot where he'd plunged in. The other kids watched in shock as I dove in after him. Um, oh fuck, I've lost the story. The water was only four feet deep. Only four feet deep, but, but it was freezing, freezing cold. cold. I grabbed him by the collar and pulled him out of the water. He was drenched from head to toe. Someone brought a blanket and put it around him and we walked back to the campfire. Once he dried off, I took him aside to talk to him and see why he'd been so terrified by the story. He said he wasn't frightened by the story, but the storyteller's sudden yell caught him off guard. He'd accidentally peed his pants. 
He didn't want to be embarrassed in front of everyone, so thinking quickly, he ran off and jumped into the water to hide the wet patch on his trousers. Why did you pick this story? Is this something that happened to you? No. I think this is quite a cool move by the guy. Well, good, quick, quick thinking, thinking isn't, it? isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Gareth. I guess you could do the same if you pooped your pants with a big muddy mud puddle. Just yeah, but everyone would be able to smell shit. Not unless you... you dove into shit. Yeah, if you found a big pile of shit and just dove into it. That doesn't seem like a great plan, does it? Well, you know, it's good to have a contingency plan for these things. Yeah. You never know when you'll be caught caught off guard. Caught short. But I think this is a good good one. Maybe... It's not really a scary story. It's a story about a scary story. No, but this... It's quite meta. What? Why did you pick this as well? Well, I thought it would be a good opener. It's just about Something a boy like pissing himself. <laughs> it's about a boy pissing himself. I just thought it'd be funny. Otherwise, a funny I story. I don't think it's that funny or scary. It's weird and weird. You're so bloody critical, aren't you? Look, would you rather I did an advert about a new McDonald's burger <laughs> with a black bun because it's Halloween? <laughs> right. But that's the alternative An here, orange Lewis. poppy seeds, right. That's the alternative. Seeds. No. Well, I mean, I All didn't right, realise find... it would be children's stories. I got some real scary. Okay, real scary stories. Okay, here we that go. That was the build-up, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay, hang on. This is, this is a good one. This, this is a great... St- shut up. Don't spoil it, okay? This is a great one to tell other people because right. it's like a performance, right? Just imagine we're, we're huddled around a campfire. Hopefully everyone's watching this video at night wearing headphones. If you're not, take a second <clears throat> and just draw the curtains. Or wait till night. Take a second wait and till wait night. till night. <laughs> wait till you're alone and in a in a... And slightly creepy, creepy mood. Yeah, you know, something's maybe you know. This is quiet. What's that? Oh, I thought I just heard something. Oh, it's probably just one of the cats, or maybe it's a demon. Who knows? No, was that the wind? Sorry, it's, it's those probably, noodles. Probably ahead. was the wind. It's always the wind. With it's me, when it's me, it's mm-hmm. always the wind. Okay, right, and off. Enough tomfuckery. Let's get on with story. Why are you delaying? You're the one telling. You could have ignored... Just do I'm it. I'm just giving the, the listeners a chance to get into the mood. Okay? Now you're in the mood. Everyone's in the mood, right? Sure. Okay. There's a little boy and he met a lady in the street. She had big red lips and long white fingers. Oh. She asked him... Do you know what I can do with these big red lips and these long white fingers? And the boy goes, "Ah, ah." and he runs off and he goes around the corner and the lady's already there. Like she teleported. Hello, little boy. Do you know what I can do with my long red lips and my thick fingers? Wait, it's the other way around. And the boy goes, ah. And he runs off. Oh. He runs into the woods. Oh no. He's running for like half an hour. This is bad. And he stops. And then he hears like a twig crack behind him. He spins round. The woman's there with her big red lips and her long white fingers. Hello, little boy. Do you know what do you know what I can do with my big red lips and my long white fingers? <laughs> <laughs> That is such a st- stupid... <laughs> I love that. Okay, that's good. Oh, yeah, this is another really dumb one as well. This is so stupid. So this is another sort of joke one. Okay. Right? You can try these on local children. Yeah. If you know any children. Just go out into the street, find a kid, and tell them a story. Do you want to hear a story? Mm-hmm. And then you say, there are these two children... And they were home alone. And suddenly the phone rings. Hello? No, do the... Bring, bring. <gasps> bring, bring. <gasps> what year is this? 
Bring, bring. He has a phone. And then you, Hello? can you read this? Can you read what the voice says? I am the man with the bloody finger. <gasps> In one hour, <gasps> I will be at your place. <gasps> then he hangs up. <laughs> And then he hangs up, and then half an hour later. Bring, bring! <gasps> bring, bring! Hello? Bring, bring! Hello? I am the man with the bloody finger. In half an hour, <gasps> I'll be at your place. <gasps> and then 20 minutes later, can you do the math in your head? Mm -hmm. Okay. 20 minutes later, the phone rings again. Bring, bring! <gasps> I am the man with the bloody finger. In ten minutes, I will be at your place. <laughs> God, I'm getting and scared. And then, ten minutes later, there's a knock at the door. <laughs> the kids open the door, which you shouldn't do. But they open the door anyway. <laughs> they crack open the door. And there's a man stood there, and he holds out his bloody finger. I am the man with the bloody finger. Do you perhaps have a bandage I could borrow? <laughs> a pl do you have a plaster that will do? Any... It's bleeding quite badly. I'm, pr I'm probably... I think it might have stopped, actually. Don't worry. Yeah, it's, it's been okay. an hour, so... Never yeah. mind. Thank you. Okay. Funny. Are we going to do this one? Lewis, do you know the shortest scary story of all time? Uh, no, you're gonna. I... Boom! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Fuck me. That's it. <laughs> you knew what it was. You knew what I was gonna do. I didn't read that bit. I only read the first look line. How, look how big it says! Boo! Exclamation mark. No, I didn't read that. Bolded. Right. Have you heard of the um? The horror author H.P. Lovecraft. Yes. Of, okay, we're not talking the, about his cat. Of the Cthulhu, the Cthulhu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he had a, a book of ideas, commonplace books. He would he would have these journals, notebooks filled with story ideas, right? Right. Anytime he thought of a creepy idea, he'd write yeah, it yeah. down in his he, notebook. He'd jot it down. So he'd be like, oh, uh, archaeologists discover a ham. <laughs> okay. Right. <gasps> Why is there a, a baked ham here at this dig site? Right. And then when he's looking back through the book, he's like, oh, he always just has <laughs> was a like, very I good. think I was just hungry. I think I just wanted a ham sandwich. I, for some, <laughs> but sometimes you have these ideas in the middle of the night or whatever, and you can't, you're like, I've got to write this idea down. You write it yeah. down, and you wake up the next morning, and you're like, this is a terrible idea. So these are like a series of prompts, not by H.P. Lovecraft, but in a similar style. So it's, it's very short ideas that you could maybe make a story Oh, out I of. see, elaborate out. So I thought we could creepy. look at some of these sort of randomly and see if we could, like, come up with an idea for something. Okay, a sure. A woman wakes up with no eyes. <laughs> Jesus. Why is it so dark? Is it still night time? No, but maybe her eyes are somewhere else. Maybe she can see, even though she hasn't got eyes. No, she can... She and can... it's only when she goes to do her makeup... She oh. goes to put a mascara on. She's like, that's weird. Where are my eyes? Oh, that is What's creepy. going on? What's this all about? But oh, It's really annoying. Okay. I'm going out on a date later. Oh my God, and she goes out on a date with a guy. And he's got no eyes. He's got no eyes either. And everyone's got no eyes. But they're all just acting like it's normal. Yeah. So no she's one's mentioned thinking, it. is there something wrong with me? Like, I'm just... Seeing things, hallucinating. Everyone has no eyes, but then <clears throat> she's in the restaurant and she sees someone coming who does have eyes. <laughs> she orders a plate of meatballs and it's all just eyes. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> yes, that is it. That's so bad. That's so good. That's yeah, so it's bad. human eyes. Oh my god! And everyone's eating their own eyes. Oh. Mwah. Okay, that is that, that is good. Man, we're naturals sure, of this. Sure, Turns okay. Where you are. A spelunker stumbles upon a series of caverns infested with rattlesnakes. That just sounds like a thing that might happen. Yeah. Not really like a I don't think the word spelunker thing. is particularly horror, horror story, really. 
I suppose caving really? though is and caverns are pretty. Yeah. Awesome. I just don't, the I, descent. I think the word spelunker is just so fun and like it's kind of a fun. It sounds word. a bit like spunker. It does, doesn't it? That's not good. Uh, he's not the man she thought he was. In fact, he's not a man at all. He's a dog. <laughs> right. And who? So he what? He un- they got married. Right. They've oh, been dating for like okay, two so, years. So she wakes up one morning and... After the wedding, they've shed their first night together. And he's gone to work. Okay. Right. And she checks his phone. No. And it's all pictures of bones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's a bit weird. Um, and then there's like a picture of a pile of leaves. Yeah. A picture of fox shit. And she goes into the walk-in, the the walk-in wardrobe. And it's all of normal it's normal human clothes. Yeah. Um, but she notices like there's like um, a crack in the back of the wardrobe. Right? She notices that... He has two pairs of every shoe that are identical to each other right. for some reason. I see. It's like he has four feet or something. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Fuck no. But they're just normal human shoes. <laughs> they're quite large. They wouldn't fit a dog. She, she's looking through the kitchen and they've got all this wedding delivery. And yeah. she notices that the, the plates he ordered were dog bowls. Instead, with their names on. I don't know. Um, so anyway, she goes, she opens the back of the wardrobe for some reason. And there's like human costumes in there, like like zippable up human skins. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's fucked up. That's weird. And obviously the like dog that. can get in them. That's actually uh, horror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's horror. Oh, my God. I was just thinking she looks... In the wardrobe, and it's it's like the tie rack bit, and it's all dog collars <laughs> with tags on. Yeah, it says Fido. Oh Who's God. Fido? He's got like a it's like instead of different passports, he's got like different dog collars with different tags on, different like identities. A woman out hiking is caught in a bear trap as the sun begins to go down. Oh, oh, okay. See, that's quite a good, that's a good concept, isn't it? When it's like, you know, vampires or something, but you're trapped and you're in pain and you can't get out and night's falling and now suddenly you have this other shit to deal with. Bears are coming as well. Bears are like circling you. Where bears? Where bears? Where bears? The park rangers like, oh, really? they're in Canada. Oh, All right, I'll help you out here. Just, it'll just give me a minute. Oh no, the sun's going down. He says, it's okay. a Geordie Good lord. He's a, Wait, hey, man. He's, he came when he was younger. He has a little bit of the tinge of the Geordie in him. It's good, though. He's not interesting character. Oh, no! This is the kind of depth you miss out on if you're just, you know, this is when it comes from the heart, you know. It's, and the park ranger turns into a bear. Oh, but then... She also turns into a bear. Exactly. And then they fall in love. Yes. Oh. And they have little wear babies. Oh, that would be such wear a good... Wear-bear babies. That would be such a good twist, though, if you think, like, vampires are going to attack her or something. Like, you see, like, bats and stuff fly by, and, you know, there's, like, eyes that you can see in the darkness and stuff. So you think that, like, monsters are going to come for her, but she, like, turns into a werewolf or whatever. Yeah, well, if she could... That's the twist. Obviously, she could um, get caught in this bear trap. And then they could rescue her as the <clears throat> woman form, not realizing that she was actually a bear when she a got caught. Bear. Yeah, oh, that'd be good, wouldn't it? And she'd be she'd be in the hospital, like recovering. Hospital, yeah. And she'd have to like disguise the fact that she's actually going to turn into a bear at night. No, time. she's turned. She's already turned into a bear. She's like savage. <laughs> all the nurses. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> I like that she's very just hairy, a very friendly bear. <laughs> uh, oh, thank you, thank you for the dinner. Like brave. Oh, the mum turns into a bear. That's true. Yeah. Oh, it's already been done. Yeah, it has, hasn't it? We stole it from someone else. A mother's baby will not leave its womb and continues to grow <gasps> and grow. 
<sighs> and grow while doctors work to remove it but can't. That's horrible. Jeez. That is horrible. That's a prompt. That's not just a prompt. That's a whole... I really wish you hadn't read that out. That's, that's so awful. awful. Yeah. That's so Let's awful. Read this one. Tourists in Ireland <clears throat> retreat to an old castle when the country is taken over by greedy leprechauns. Stereotype much. 101 terrifying horror story prompts. So, okay, so they're like American tourists in Ireland. Right. Have they been like... Stick to the road, lads. Don't go on no more. Mm-hmm. You know, like American wealth in London. And then one of them gets bitten by a leprechaun. Right. Actually, I don't think he was... David wasn't even bitten, was he? I think he was just slashed. And then that was enough to transfer lycanthropy to him. So what, you get put into a little green suit? You get turned into a little... Slowly over time. Right. You get smaller and more more wee. He's like, what? He's like standing in front of a mirror. He's like, am I, am I growing shorter? What's happening? Is there a hat appearing on my head, coming out of my head? You know, like, why like, am I wearing a waistcoat all of a sudden? <laughs> What's happening? And then his voice starts getting all high and shit. <laughs> mm. <gasps> what was that? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Something's happening. I'm scared. <laughs> ah, where's me gold? Me lucky charms. Oh. And then it's like, there's a, a rainbow appears. And obviously, you know, he starts... Running towards it? Yeah, f- trying to secure... <clears throat> his gold. Which is at the end of the rainbow, right? Yeah, and what's there? Just at all the other... Bear trap. <laughs> <laughs> but because he's so small, he just gets cut in half. <laughs> oh, fuck, what a way to go. But then each half grows into a fully formed leprechaun. So there's now two of them. Yikes. And they fall in love and get married. Fucking wow! This is... <laughs> and then one of them gets pregnant and the baby just keeps growing and growing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my, oh my God. God. That, how... Your brain, the spiralling of that story, good Lord, rapid-fire madness. Friends on a road trip stumble upon a backcountry town whose residents all dress up as different types of clowns. Oh, right. Okay. So, So, like, is there there some kind of festival or or something going? No? No, no. Oh, not till, not till, like, a couple of months' time or something. We've got the Harvest Festival on. We're a very happy town. In Ireland, apparently. (laughs) They love, maybe they start off, like, fairly, like, low-key clowns, right? Not too, like... You know, right. not too like <clears throat> full clown. Maybe the, they maybe the first place they stop is like a gas station. It's themed, yeah, it's like clown theme. They're all quite nice and like, and they and they go to the drink cell and it's all Fago. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, and it's and there's all, a, a juggalette behind the counter. Yeah, like yeah, Harley, what do you want? Harley Quinn style, kind yeah, of like yeah, yeah. you know, quite normal, friendly kind of clown. But then as they progress further, they realize they're stuck. You know. And um, their car breaks down. <laughs> the doors, the doors fall off. <laughs> Custard comes out of it. This is a bit weird. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Quick, everyone, out of the car! It's going to explode! And then just like hundreds of people come out of this car. <laughs> yeah, and I guess they walk towards the centre of town, and there's like circus tents there, and like you know, it's, it's kind of. Strange, it's strange, more and more, you know, weird theme. It's like, you know, in, like an infinite circus, you know. I was thinking, like, maybe more Wicker Man. There's a giant Wicker Clown. Being burned in the centre of town. But it's got, like, sort of, it looks like it's got a cage in the sort of middle of it. Oh, wow. That's strange. It kind of looks like a cage in the middle. And then... Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, God, Jesus Christ! My lord is my shepherd. Is that what he does in Wicker Man? Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah. A woman suddenly begins to wake up in somebody else's body every morning, but each day ends with her being stalked and killed by the same murderer in black. He doesn't have to be the same That's murderer. 
It feels like something similar to that has been done before. I like the idea of that, like <clears> the Groundhog Day <throat> style. You wake up every morning. That's you're like, Happy Death Day. Oh, That's right. already a film. Oh, That's shit. already a film. But yeah, she wakes up every day. In the same And body. she gets murdered By every day, person. over and over again. In a different way. So she has to try and escape this I stalker. See. I see. So she dodges like the one time he was going to get her, and then he gets <laughs> her another way. And she has to keep... Oh, that's a cool idea. So that already exists. I've got a lot of films to watch, apparently. Yeah, apparently. Um, no, but I like the different body. Like, mm. it's almost like um, Quantum Leap, you know? It's like, oh, shit, you look in the mirror. <laughs> and yeah. you're like a different person every day. And you're like, oh, my God, I have to pretend to be this person and deal with their life. And then someone's oh, going to kill me. <laughs> a little girl comes down from upstairs and asks her parents, Can you hear it breathing? I can. It's definitely creepy if you didn't have any children. You know, where's she come from? This girl. Can you hear it breathing? Can you hear it breathing? I can. What's breathing, honey? The thing under my bed. Mm hmm. And then they look under the bed and it's their mum. She's like, There's someone downstairs with my face. And the mum is sat on the sofa, just like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> God. Wow. Your brain. <laughs> I, I don't even know where to go. That's so weird. If, like, every... Are you scared now? <laughs> so you look scared. I need a, a, <gasps> a possible... Um, body of water somewhere where I can. Oh right, sploosh, sploosh myself. Well, you are wearing sort of black, so that will kind of hide the um stain. Yeah, you, it looks like you need like a corset. It's almost like it's, it's already... got one built into it. What right? size is this? Is this a witch's costume? This is so tight across the chest, Alex. Who is this bought? Doesn't for? he look good though? Doesn't he look good, everyone? Doesn't he look handsome, boy? Mr. In his Anderson. little witch dress. No, no, you're Neo. I don't know anything he says. What is he? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you've already been through this. You're doing generic Keanu you've already noises. Been through this. A man dies, wakes up in the body of a serial killer. And no matter how hard he tries to stop killing, he can't. Oh well, it's God. very Moorish, isn't it? Well, killing? Yes. Do, do, do you think it's like... Accidental killing, though. Like, he's, you know, he's... Like Tucker and Dale versus Evil. There's just accidents happen and people just end up just dying. Around them. Yeah. He's like, okay, I'll put all the knives down. They're all down here nice and safe, so I won't be stabbing anyone. And then someone, like, runs in, trips, and just falls on all the knives. And like, ah, yeah. Fuck! Oh, no, I've done it again. I think that could could be mm. it. Oh, yeah. It's like Final Destination, you know, like yeah. the, the these really weird deaths that occur around you just because your your time is up. I like I like that. I like weird, stupid, <clears throat> accidental deaths that happen because honestly, and it's that stuff does happen. Like people are like killed by falling plant pots and dumb stuff all the time, aren't they? You know, all over the place. I read the other day, someone, they they got this tiny little drill thing, like a pen, and it, they it, it, they just fucking, it bore a hole straight through their heart and they bled out. Is it that deep? Yeah. I bought a little <laughs> pen drill today and Simon's been mocking me about it, like I've, like I've bought something <laughs> stupid. It's this tiny little... It's good, it's for, for my your little, little toys. For your little... Toy soldiers. I, I, I just thought Warhammers. it's fun. Look, I don't think it's deep enough. I don't think you could kill yourself with it. <laughs> it's like June. The plugs, the heart plugs. Oh. That Baron Harkonnen installs in people to ensure their loyalty. Right. Just one pull on it and that's it. All the blood comes straight out of their heart. And they die. Mm. Mm, good thinking. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't do that in the office. We shouldn't get no. those installed. No, I'll, I'll, I'll roll that back then. Yeah, 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 yeah. A woman jogging stumbles upon a dead, bloody body. She then hears a strange clicking sound and looks up to see a dark figure running towards her. 
the clicking sound is what makes that interesting. It could be like camera. Someone's taking pictures of her. It's a reporter. Right. She's framed for the crime. Because <gasps> she's just holding like a bloody knife. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She has to go on the run. Well, she's a runner, so... Oh, she'd be very good at it then. <laughs> Natural. That's what it's called. It's called runner. It's like Forrest Gump, but she's a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not a murderer. She it was, was an framed. Accident. Oh, I see. She, it wasn't an accident. She found a body. Someone else killed the body. With a knife. And she pulled the knife out. Yeah. And then they got a picture of her holding the knife. Yeah. Why would you do that? Pull the knife out. Maybe the guy's still alive. Ah, Pull the knife out. Ah, I'm dying. Really hurts. Get the knife out of me. Ow, it hurts. <laughs> ah. There you go. Is that better? <laughs> <laughs> click, click. Oh, no. Yeah. Caught red-handed and the red is blood. An Uber <laughs> driver picks up the wrong person and may not live to tell the tale. I do like the more modern ones, right? Like, here's the thing. Here's the thing about... <laughs> With, with an app. This is the secret, okay, to... <clears throat> Modern horror. Success. Okay. In anything. You take an old idea... Right. And you set it with some stupid new spin on it, right? That's like okay. modern, modern stuff. Like Uber and, you know, like food, like delivery, food delivery. Okay. You know, someone delivers food. Like every time I order... To the wrong address. And it's like a bloody heart, right? You see what I mean? I got next door's delivery and they've been ordering like body parts. Like cooked, right. cooked body parts from like... A very exclusive restaurant. Yeah, from like yeah. a specific restaurant where you have to order weird stuff. You know, you'd go there and it'd be like really overpriced cookies. You know? I'm not paying £29 for a cookie. But they're not really cookies. That's not a cookie. It's... Oh my God. Like so a, do you think those places are part. actually out there? And we don't... Nobody orders from them because they're so expensive. Yeah, that's how you hide in plain sight, though, right? These, like, they're, they're like, called... What are they called? Um, they've got a name. Isn't this what QAnon believes? Probably. <laughs> like, think about it. Isn't this literally what QAnon believes? They're very modern. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, how about this? You've downloaded a new app. You're like, it's, a video, it's like a video game app application. A computer program, if you like. <laughs> I feel like we like, should. Oh, we're trying to be modern. I want to play. Oh, it's a game. It's called. And, it, like, and it's called Survive or Die. Yeah. Now being the name of the movie, Survive or Die. I feel like AXC. I feel like this movie's already been made. But Gary, oh, there's a hundred of these movies. Out there. <laughs> and you play it, and and then it, there's a message, and it's it's like. You've lost a life, four lives remaining, and then you go home, your wife's dead. Laying in a pool of her own sick. Oh. Oh no, what a tragic accident. You don't play the game for a couple of weeks. Yeah, you've got to do the funeral arrangements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're very busy. Yeah. All the bills and stuff to sort out. But one night, whatever. it's dark, you're bored. Oh, I'll just get my phone out. Oh, survive or die. Oh, this it's got a little fun. notification pops up. And it's like, you haven't, pl you haven't played in two weeks. Log in now and receive 50 silver coins. Mm. And you're like, oh, 50 okay, silver sure. coins is good. So there's like, a gacha element to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you start playing it and then you lose another life. And then you get home, your dog's dead. <gasps> it's like hanging up from the ceiling. How dangling did that happen? there. What, by its collar? It must have just... By its lead. It must have been running around upstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, and it fell, fell off the yeah. stairs and it got caught. E easily Accident. explained, isn't it? Accidents happen. And then, of course, you've got to have the dog funeral. And yeah, take it takes care a couple of, of weeks. Arrangements. You know, you've got to cancel his standing orders and all that. Well, because your wife had already died. Mm, yeah. So, you know, that was your best friend. Yeah. Then you that play, hits you quite hard. You play the app again because it gave you another notification. Log in now for a free spin. And you spin the thing, you get 25 silver coins. You're like, oh, I could have, could have won a thousand. And you it's gain a good. life. You gain a life. And suddenly you've got a new wife. <laughs> and she's a lot younger, a lot hotter. She's got a big ass. I was thinking you got some surprise news that your sister had given birth. Do you know what I mean? You didn't know she was pregnant. No, you just have a new wife Okay. Now. And everyone's <laughs> like, oh yeah. 
Doreen, Lu- that's Lewis's wife. It's like she'd already and she's living in your forever. house. Everyone knows her. Yeah, and she's like there's I'm pictures work, of you and her everywhere. And, and you're, you're like, like the fuck? what the fuck is going on? That's good, isn't that? That's good. That I like that. Good. Yeah, that is good. It reminds me of Dawn in uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh right, when yeah. She just appeared, existed. Yeah, and everyone's like, hmm. Mm. Hollywood are like gagging for us to carry on that story about what. So what happens with the man? And he's and he's now he's got his wife. Does he not go back? Is he happily ever after now? Gets a new dog. Well, no, he he plays the game again, and then I don't think the wife can die. He keeps getting more lives. He starts doing really well. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. He ends up with twenty lives. He's got a whole family. He's got like all sorts. He's got of... five wives and fifteen kids. <laughs> yeah, and suddenly he's living in Utah, and he's in like yeah. a polygamist's. Set up. He's got like great uncles calling round and great aunties bringing in pies. He's signed up to all these clubs. Got a full social circle. What if he like rolls? You know, he does like the gacha thing. And it's like, oh, a new character unlocked. Oh, may as well. And then he clicks on it, and suddenly he's a different person in a different place. Doesn't have the family anymore. He's a different person. He's oh, a, what? He's a middle-aged woman living in Shrovesbury. Good. Called called Mor Morvis. Morvis. Morvis Perkins. <laughs> Morvis Perkins. <laughs> Mrs. Perkins? Oh, you could call me Morvis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, an app. Oh, what's this nonsense? Just deletes it. Mm. And now he's got no chance of ever going back to his old self. But oh wait, does he not have any recollection of who he was? I guess not. He's a different person now. He's more of this. He's not. He's not into the game. So, so stupid. Ah, uh, he's at he's at the village fate, you know, with his jam that he made. Yeah, damson, damson jam. Mm. You know, he's he's getting all the gossip off of uh, his neighbour. More of this, I have to say. This is the vicar speaking. I have to say, this is the finest damson jam. I've had in many a year. Oh, thank you. First prize. Thank You've you. earned it, Morvish. Thank you so much, Anthony. That means so much to me. I'm so happy. There's not much in my life being a single elderly lady living in Shrovesbury. But, you know, you have really perked an old lady up. Would you like to have tea one afternoon? Oh, I don't mind if I do. And then they get married. Mm. And then she gets pregnant. Oh. And then her husband installs the app. Oh my god! The vicar installs the app. What grinder? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think that's. I think that's enough. I think that's enough of the Halloween spookiness. I think that is enough. Uh, thanks for joining us. Hope you've enjoyed these spooky tales. Question mark. Yeah. Stay safe out there. And be good to each other. Ooh!